If you ever have a situation that's troubling you that really just makes you all kinds of confused, it, it feels so good when you reach that point in that situation where you get a moment of clarity and it's like, oh, OK, I get it now. That makes sense. And that's what a lot of Ravens fans were going through with a particular player who the Ravens, the, nobody knew what the relationship was between them and the Ravens. They were away from the Ravens and people started speculating this and that. And you will see this player post a lot of stuff on Instagram and be like, OK, he's doing this, but why he ain't with the team? And I ain't talking about Lamar Jackson. This is Derek Wolf. Now, Derek Wolf had a very crazy situation, especially last year. Some people felt like he delayed uh, his surgery in order to keep all of his money. And then this year, some people felt like he did the same thing again. Now, I can't speak on that because I don't know the particulars of his surgery. I don't know the particulars of the timing on it and, and the contract and whatnot. Uh, but I know it is a very weird situation. And this offseason with Derek Wolf has been a very weird situation because like we have not heard anything about him and his status with the Ravens like nothing nothing uh we hear all these rumors and reports and then we come up with our own speculations um y'all know me I just feel like Derek Wolf probably won't be a Raven this year but after his Instagram post yesterday I feel like it'll be for different reasons now, before I felt like with Derek Wolf and the Ravens, I felt like he just he wasn't going to be here. Now, I know if they were to cut him or release him, then they would lose some money and they would be it could be one of them things where they were like, you know what? Nah, we, we, we good off that. We, we, we'll take the loss. Um, the only way where they wouldn't really lose money would be is if they were to trade him. But who's going to trade for Derek Wolf? Unless it could be some team where they just uh a couple of super low draft picks, conditional draft picks. And it would, if the Ravens were to trade Derek Wolf, I feel like they would trade him to a team just to get him off the team. And they would take literally whatever. My opinion, though, I, I'm not sure what the Ravens are thinking. But I just don't see Derek Wolf, and I didn't see Derek Wolf being a Baltimore Raven in 2022 um, and beyond. But now, apparently, he had his second hip surgery uh, yesterday. And he said it went good, um, but when he spoke, he said he was he was high off the drugs. So you know they drug you up when you have surgery and whatnot. But he did say, "Now I'm I'm gonna try to live a normal life." And that's the part that stuck with me because playing football, being an NFL player, professional football player, that's not a normal life. So that led me to believe, okay. Now it seems like maybe Derek Wolf he could be retiring. And I remember when he was on a podcast months ago, and Jonas Schaefer, uh, he had a report that said Derek Wolf is considering retirement. Then Derek Wolf came out and said, no, Jon Jonas Schaefer, that's lies, that's fake news, da 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 But with him saying what he said yesterday, it does really seem like he could be leaning toward retirement, especially just with how distant He's been from the Ravens and just how it because we don't know. We don't know what their communication has been. We don't know. But we have literally, literally nothing. He has not been in Baltimore. He has not been uh, at their facility at all. So it's, it's just been a very weird, murky kind of situation. Now, um, with Derek Wolf, uh, with his salary. And shout out to uh, Brian McFarlane because, you know, he always he always bring in the, the, the cap news. Uh, my guy Brent, he asked Brian McFarlane, Raven Salary Cap on Twitter. Uh, if Wolf would happen to retire, like some are speculating, would there be any cap savings? I'm sure it wouldn't be much. And Brian McFarlane replied, he said, yes, if Wolf retired, he'd forfeit his $2 million salary. So, ooh, that's, that's where it gets a little pretty tricky. Because if you retire... That's two mil. Bye. It's gone. See ya. Now, of course, we know that he got money. He done had some nice contracts in the NFL. Um, but still, you got two mil sitting there. It, it's probably real hard to walk away from that. Um, but anyway, if Wolf retired, he'd forfeit his $2 million salary. And since we are past June 1st, the Ravens would realize $2 million in cap savings this year. But 
while carrying 1.8 mil in dead money on the cap in both 2022 and 2023. So that would spread out uh, the dead cap hit uh, for both this year and next year. We'll split it in half because with June 1st, whatever dead money um, you would uh, accrue um, on your current salary cap, it would be split in half after June 1st. So this year, they so I guess this year they will save like 200000 uh, because 2 mil minus that 1.8 in dead money would be like 200000 but so it wouldn't be you no know, crazy savings or anything like that. But one thing that I was thinking about, um, I, I do wonder, and I'm sure Derek Wolf has had contact with the Ravens. I'm sure he hasn't been uh, just completely MIA. One scenario I wonder about is if Derek Wolf, if he's communicated with the Ravens and been like, "Look, I I don't know what I'm gonna do this year. I don't know if I'm gonna play this year or not. I I just." I don't know. I'm getting ready to have my second hip surgery, and I I don't know how it's going to go. This offseason, we've been saying the Ravens' motto should be, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Jalen Ferguson is already on the team, and he, I, he did slim down. So I haven't seen a picture. I keep hearing from everybody he slimmed down, so I don't know what it looks like now. Um, but before Jalen Ferguson, to me, he should have been a D-N. Not an outside linebacker, but defensive end. The Ravens, a couple weeks ago, they brought back a familiar face uh, in Brent Urban. He used to play for the Cowboys. I think he played for the Bears for a little bit. But they brought back Brent Urban. He is a defensive end. Last week, they brought in Jason Pierre Paul. What position does he play? Defensive end. So I think, in my opinion, I would think that the Ravens have had contact with Derek Wolf, um, and with his status being up in the air, or may, he could have told them, "Hey, I'm gonna retire. I'm gonna retire." But I think if he would have done it, he might have done it already. So that's that's why it's so tricky to me. I just I, I really don't know. But I, I think that he probably would have had communication with the Ravens and let them know what's going on. So the Ravens are like, "All right, cool. Appreciate the heads up." But, well, yeah, we're going to prepare just in case. We're going to have ourselves covered just in case. We're going to look at other options just in case. And that'd be a smart thing to do. So that would make, with this second hip surgery that he's having, that would make the, um, the Jason Pierre-Paul visit make that much more sense. See, with the Ravens, um, when we always say this, their actions speak a whole lot louder than their words. And a lot of times by, by the moves that they make and the moves that they don't make, you can kind of tell the direction that they're going in. And, and even if you can't tell it immediately, eventually stuff will come to the light and it'll be like, oh, OK, so that's why they did that. Oh, that's why they brought this guy in for it. Oh, that's why they signed this guy. Oh, OK, I, all right. I get it now. It makes sense. Well, not everything makes sense, but a lot of it does make sense. There'll be some moves where it'd be like, huh? But anyway, somebody, because you know people just, people are unfortunately people. And sometimes people take um, their fandom to toxic levels and it's just never, ever worth it. And it's never, ever that serious. Um, so somebody, there was a really toxic Ravens fan uh, who sent... Um, their wolf's wife, a message that she actually reposted. Um, he said, your husband is a bum who's stealing money from the Ravens. He should have gotten a surgery months ago, but is too busy hunting, carrying a 300 pound bear on his back. Meanwhile, needs hip surgery. Forget you and forget your husband. And it's like, really? Is it ever that serious? It's, it's not. It's not. It's, it's really not. Um... But yeah, that 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 whole the bear picture, the the that that was a big bear. Um, so that that's why again st that picture and that and he was willing to put it out there because again with social media, with social media people will show you what they want you to see. And he was willing to put that picture out there. So when this whole surgery thing popped up, it had a lot of people thinking like, whoa, what, huh? What's happening? So I just. I, I just don't know. It's so confusing. But anyway, uh, his wife, 
uh, she chimed in and she said that his mother needs to wash his mouth. Um, but she said, I'll use this moment to address my husband's health. Uh, Derek actually did have surgery months ago in January on his right hip. But you must have been too busy being a troll elsewhere to see that status update. We then had to wait until today per doctor's orders to have surgery on the left hip. So he's having surgery on both hips. With that, see, that, that would make me think that he would lean towards retirement, especially his comment. It all goes back to his comment. I just want to live a normal life. I want to try to live a normal life. It's like, oh, oh, okay, yeah. It. Anyway, she also said, unfortunately, NFL players and their families have to deal with uninformed weirdos like this all the time. We announce what we can, when we can, for full transparency. Players aren't always allowed to divulge their status either, uh, either by the way, but not in this case. Torn labrums are not something Derek can control or want it, nor did he want to have double hip surgery in one year. But that is the name of the game. So shout out to his wife for, um, for just sharing that information. She didn't have to, um, but just to provide that much, much more of a moment of clarity uh, to everybody who was wondering. So with everything that's happened, uh, again, it just makes this whole thing so like, Tricky man, because it's like, yeah, he lifting up 300 pound bears. Then you would think he, he could push back 300 pound offensive linemen, too. But again, if you want to live a normal life, if you're saying you want to live a normal life, then that would lead me to believe that when it comes to Derek Wolf playing in the NFL, that he'd want to be 